Welcome to Karen's Lab. Today we're going to make snow, but not the snow that you eat. The snow that is used, for example, to recreate winter conditions in movie sets. We're going to start, as always, by learning some technical vocabulary, and then, for this case, we have to move outside to play with the snow. This snow is made out of a polymer. Remember what polymer was? Many parts. In this case, we have many parts of sodium polyacrylate. Here we have the sodium polyacrylate. We don't need much. Very little will create a lot of snow. Let's look at the basic molecule of sodium polyacrylate. In here, we have three atoms of carbon, three atoms of hydrogen, one atom of sodium, two atoms of oxygen, and this one, we can repeat it many, many, many times. That's why it's called a polymer. This one is just the monomer, just the basic molecule. How is it that it becomes a snow? What is the reaction that occurs when we put water into it? This polymer is a slightly cross-linked. Do you remember what cross-link was? Cross-link was what we did with the slime. Remember how we had a thermoplastic polymer that was the PVA and then we cross-link it and it became slime, right? After we cross-link it, it didn't flow. We had slime. Let me put it on the board so you remember what cross-linking is. You can have some linear molecules like that. So just imagine the spaghetti that you can move it with the fork. But if I start attaching these chains together, I cross-link them. So that means that if I try to pull this chain now, I cannot do it. I have cross-linked the polymer. In this case, the sodium polyacrylate has some degree of cross-linking and attracts the water in between. So the water goes into the cross-linking and it increases the volume. The degree of cross-linking is basically going to give you very special properties. If you have low degree of cross-linking, you can absorb a lot of water. If you have higher degree of cross-linking, you can absorb less water. If we want to make snow, we want to absorb less water, somehow to repel it so you can have individual particles. That's what you're going to see outside. If we wanted to absorb a lot of water, that will be, for example, for the sodium polyacrylate that is used in diapers. And we will do a video to show that. So let's go outside. Joker has broken out his fellow villains from Arkham Asylum, and Batman and his sidekick Nightwing have gone to put them back in jail. But usually, Gotham is really cold and we're missing a little something. We're gonna use some snow, sodium polyacrylate. We're gonna add a little bit of sodium polyacrylate. Now let's add the water. Now this story can actually continue and Batman can capture his enemies. Thanks to Batman and our scientists who created the snow, all the villains have been captured and he saved the day. Remember, what's the goal of these videos? The goal is that with the knowledge that you acquire, you start innovating. What can you do with this snow? There are many other applications. Let me know what you come up with. 